So, we're going to be trying uh, Monaco Grand Prix on the Sega 1000. And uh, I think it's called the SG 1000 specifically. Now, this machine came out for the same price and the same month and year as the uh, NES, and both were ridiculously cheap. They were uh, under 15,000 yen. And uh, let me tell you that the Intellivision was 50,000 yen. Yeah, you get an idea there, mate. How much was the Intellivision in this country? I think it was about 100 quid in uh, 1982. So you're talking less than a third of that. So you're talking like 30 quid for an NES in the UK if it had happened that way. Ah, of course the cartridges were expensive because the consoles were dirt cheap. But anyway, the uh, SG-1000, which could never have Donkey Kong and uh, Popeye, two of the best 8-bit games of that sort of time, certainly from Japan, via the arcade, um, couldn't have them. So uh, I've gone for a racing game, Monaco GP, which is uh, a secret game. I have got a video on that. Of the arcade version. Right, so that's how you accelerate, but you move at the same time. Okay, just getting used to the control this Oh, you can jump. So they've made it like bumping buggies. So another arcade game that I specifically would have liked because I wanted it for the Coleco Vision when that was a thing, before I got my C64, was uh, Zaxxon as well, so... So yeah, I mean, uh, Le Mans on the uh, C64 and uh, Commodore Max machine. So I'm getting a bit carried away with the jumps. What's the other button do then? So you can compare this with Le Mans on the C64, it's, uh, it's a very ColecoVision-ish sort of uh, graphic style. The NES is nothing like the ColecoVision, but the SG-1000 is, is kind of MSX type technology from Texas Instruments, an American company, just so you know. Who's got the handling of a Morris Marina in uh, dry ice? It scrolls really smoothly, actually. I don't know if the Coleco, I don't think the ColecoVision does actually have hardware scroll. What the hell? All oh, right, so we've got green and blue waves, but um, you know what? This isn't bad for this sort of game. I'm blaming the joypad, this cheap fucking uh, £2.50 USB joypad from uh, eBay. Just trying to see if slowing down would help, so width restriction. So yeah, I mean, um, you're kind of stuck in the same thing. Would be nice to see the bit with the headlights at night. I have seen that on uh, Le Mans on the C64. But the thing is, Le Mans, you, you could play it with paddle controllers. There was a version for paddle controllers. But the Max Machine <clears throat> uh, was launched in Japan for 35,000 yen, I believe it was. That was 1982. Uh, and I think the uh, cassette vision, which was sort of Philips Video Pack G7000 quality, that was actually um, 13,500 yen in 1981. Would there be a night time bit? No, not yet. Maybe never. Um, so, you know, you can compare Le Mans to this game. 
should have pressed the jump button. I'm not used to being able to jump. Don't think the arcade game. Yes, here we go. Oh man. Oh. God damn it. Just for that, I think the uh, graphics on the man's are nicer for me personally. However, you feel free to disagree, mate.